Hi there! I'm back and I'm going to do something a little bit more creative for you this evening. Um, the visual that I'm working from is an editorial um, shoot that Alex Box did with a model called Sasha, I believe. I can't remember her surname now. Um, it's quite typical of Alex Box without it being kind of really quite unwearable so it's probably not wearable but it looks beautiful as um it's basically it was kind of hair makeup and nails and the hair was really sort of beautifully waved really full um she's got kind of like icy blonde hair with with pink and purple tones in i don't know if that's been put in afterwards but it looks gorgeous and the makeup was very kind of doll like but very um over exaggerated and um, different colours used so I'm going to give it a go and uh, see what you think. So I'm going to start with the brows which might scare you to start with <clears throat> and I'm going to use um, my Ruby and Millie Angle brush as always. I always use for my brows. Now the brows are very very strong um, Alex Box always seems to do like a signature strong brow. Um, so yes, that's what I'm doing. And I'm using um, a couple of different palettes I think today, but the colours that I want to use are from the Be Luscious palette, so I'm going to use this one here to start with. And I may well mix in a little bit of this kind of denim blue here for my brows. Okay, so here goes. So I'll just map them out to start with. It's a very strong. And I can fill in afterwards. So very curved here and then very straight and kind of coming down. that. Okay, and I can fill in now this part here. I'm just keep mixing a little bit of the um, more denim blue so it's not kind of just a black little bit so you can see. It's a very strong shape. It's a bit of a iridescent finish. Okay, and the front comes quite in here, but then <clears throat> It does seem to kind of deepen in a shape and then it might just be the photograph actually it's quite hard to see but it seems like there's a little bit of a pink going into the brow so I'm just going to use this pink here. I'll know which colours these all are. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that just here. Okay, just to give it, it's like a little bit of a fade, but it's quite pinky coloured. This one here. <clears throat> I mean, the lid is actually covered mostly in liner. I just want to give it something to start with, so take away the creasing. Um, I'm not really bothered at all at the moment about um, needing to use primers because it's all just fun play. So just add some of this and I'm just being careful because I can't see any 
colour coming out above the socket. And then the problem is with some of these photos, you can never really tell for definite what's going on where, but I'll just put this colour on here. So, um, <coughs> Clinique True Black Eyeliner with my Louise Young Fine Liner Brush. <laughs> oh, love me at the moment. So the liner looks to pretty much. Luckily, the model seems to have a similar kind of lid to me, so not a huge amount. Um, so I'm going to pretty much put plenty of liner on. Okay. So it's all going to look a bit crazy for now. God, those colours are so nice. Can't believe how gorgeous that one is. I've not used that one yet. Really blue. Okay, so really quite heavy eyeliner. As you can tell, I'm not being too neat with it right now. And it doesn't have a huge flick. It does. Angle up over here. Let's make sure it's very black. <clears throat> okay, like that. I'm going to carry on with this eye and then I get an idea for what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'm now going to use a um, 266 brush and I'm <clears throat> going to map out the shape. So I'm going to use a little bit of this violet colour here. It's all kind of violet and blues and pinks, which is quite nice. So this. Kind of starts here. And over. So it's kind of a very exaggerated cat eye shape. And then I'm also going to bring that under here. And inside. Okay, so I'm going to try and wrap out the shape here. Because really, that's the shape <coughs> that I'm aiming for. Okay. Right, so, now the shape's mapped out. <coughs> A mixture of the dark blue that I used and the purple, so the original one. I'm going to go over this as um, a Louisian kind of crease brush. I'm just going to start to work on these colours here. So all you can really see on the lid is the purple, so I will be blending those two together in a minute. Just 
doing those two up here. Okay, so I'm just getting a feel for it for now, just to see whereabouts it's all going. A little bit of fall down, but I can live with that. <coughs> okay, so um, take a little bit of the dark blue again, and I'm just going to follow this down under here. But I'm not actually going right by the lash line because I'm going to put some white in there in a minute. So I'm just going to bring this a little bit underneath there and sort of here. Okay, and then the same with here. I'm going to start to kind of keep this blending. I'm just going to now blend these two colours together. A little bit of this out now, just on the edge. Hmm. Use the Malaysian brush. I'll just blend this out a bit. <coughs> so it's a bit more. So it's kind of an exaggerated dull look. But it's also um, done a little bit more messily, really. And then on um, the inside of the eye, I'm just going to use a uh, Rimmel Soft Coal in white. You can use any kind of white pencil. So this is just going to go huh, once I need to clean under the inside here. Clean up a little bit here. And change the shape a little bit. With the first green that I used, I'm just going to take this and put some here. It blends with the eyebrow around the edges of here. Almost like it's kind of a blend out colour. The white from the Sleek Acid palette, so this one here, it's a really matte white colour. if you like. Okay, so this all goes here and then all pretty much into the corner. So you can see it's all a little bit different. Add a little bit more of the green again, just under here. Okay. And then what I can see <coughs> is just to give the brow a little bit more definition using the white, I'm just going to pop that white under here. And that white though. And I'm going to apply some um, not very dense lashes really, but just to give a little bit more. Um, and they're a little bit like the um, MAC number 7s. 
I've got makeup all over myself. So yeah, they're just kind of um, on an invisible band and they're quite separated. And these are just um, these are just some that I got from a local little shop. They're quite handy for when I'm doing um, crazy fun stuff. Okay, so <coughs> pop the lashes on. So I've got the other eye to do and the rest of the face. Okay, da -da, that's both scary eyes for you. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of a different colour, just for fun. Um, and this is to kind of help bring in the cheek contouring. And I'm going to use um, Sleek Blush in Flamingo. Okay, so still with the um, Louise Young brush. Let's take a little bit of that. A little bit, don't need much of that at all. And um, I can't really see where this is, but just to add an extra kind of element to it. Okay, so I've just um, used the Studio Sculpt in NW15 on this side just to show you in this kind of shape. And I'll do it on this side now so that you can see. So starting not too close to the eye because I don't want to have to kind of move the product too much away so it's more to kind of work on this part here. And then once I've built in the light on that, oh, I'm just going to really bring it right up around here. And then um, I'm just going to do some contouring now, but I'm going to do the contouring with the um, Sleek Blush in Flamingo. And I'm using a um, MAC 109 brush. I'll just take some of that. I need the picture back up though. There it's gone. There we go. Okay, so this has been used for kind of contouring. I'll just see if I can map it out first. So it's very much going in this area here. So right under the cheekbone. look to be um, <clears throat> either very pale or a little bit metallic. So I've decided to use a combination of um, MAC Creme de Nude, which is a nude lipstick. Obviously I've, matted, I've <coughs> made my lips quite nude anyway. And I'm going to um, Mix that with a little bit of um, one of the Illamasqua liquid metals, and I'm going to use the Creaky palette, this one here, which I can never remember which one it is. Could be in Rapture. Okay. I'm just going to uh, extend my lips a little bit, so exaggerate them. So, there is kind of <coughs> the finished look. Um, I hope you like it. Um, I hope you can see. I'll try and zoom in a little bit more so that you can you can have a good look. So very editorial, perhaps not very wearable, but you could perhaps take a little part of it. And um, yeah, the visual is just gorgeous. And uh, I've been dying to have a go at it for quite some time. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope I can edit it down and um, I'll be back again soon. 
see you later bye